uh, of things, key things. But first, mainly the amount of earthquakes that have been taking place in Tennessee and the border of Tennessee. There have been several of them on the border of Tennessee in the past several days. Some of them I don't think have been reported here. I've actually felt a few rumbles in our area of Middle Tennessee, but they were not mentioned, so I don't know why they don't mention them. But the majority of them took place on the Tennessee-Missouri border, which is well known for the New Madrid fault line, but it's seven miles from there. From there, uh, 2.6 and two 2.7s took place just minutes apart at 11.18, 11.29 and 11.27 a.m. And that was on September 30th, so just a couple of days ago. And I'm going to try to see if I can pull up any other information regarding a Tennessee earthquake. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can find the, uh, the map showing all of the earthquakes and volcanic activity and see if there's any Tennessee earthquakes listed. Seven days, there have been 13 quakes around the state of Tennessee. Okay, uh, the latest ones were a 1.6 and a 1.6 and a 1.6. So, three 1.6 earthquakes. Now, <clears throat> two of those were just south of uh, Liburn, Missouri. Or Liburn, Missouri. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. but And the other one was near Ridgely, Tennessee. And as you can see right there, we had one on the 25th, 27th, another on the 27th, one on the 29th, and seven earthquakes on the Tennessee-Missouri border on Monday, September 30th, just minutes apart. And we had one in Tennessee on October 1st. And one in Missouri. There was one in Missouri on October 1st as well. So there have been a there's been a spike in activity. Now it's not that uncommon to see small tremors. They say in the state of Tennessee. They say actually, believe it or not, in the eastern areas of Tennessee. Even though the seismic activity zone is in the western part of Tennessee. They stated that there was actually a quake in the state of uh, the Carolinas. In the states of the Carolinas, there was actually an earthquake a few days ago. But that 2.8 in Ridgely, Tennessee on May 19th, you might remember, uh, that took place in 2000. Oh, that was 2016. Okay, um, let's see. Why did it go back to 2016? But you can see they've been uh, quite common for several years. Why did it? I don't know why it went back to 2016. That means they're not telling, they're lying about the, uh, they're not showing the actual true data. But the largest of these earthquakes was a, was a 3.3 at 3.47 a.m. at the New Madrid area of Missouri, right on the Tennessee border on September 27th, 2019. So... I'm going to look into a few things here, and I'll uh, talk about it some more in a moment. There's been an eruption of the Paos Volcano in Costa Rica. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Pa Paos or Paos Volcano in Costa Rica. going on? Just really quickly, because I've got a minimal amount of time left. And someone said I should get rid of the items on my phone. I have gotten rid of everything, but for some reason the memory is not going up. I've gotten rid of all of the screenshots, all of the internal, all of the internal storage items. Let's try to pause this again.
In Italy, their volcano is erupting very violently. Ash 30,000 feet into the air. Widespread flooding is hitting the UK right now with evacuations causing traffic chaos in, in that area. Some believe they saw a cloaked UFO ring above Moscow. This has happened several times before, I've seen. And the New Madrid fault line is constantly releasing pressure these days. At least nine new earthquakes have been reported near Liban, Missouri in 12 hours. Oh, okay, so now nine earthquakes in Missouri in 12 hours. Uh, the Missouri-Kentucky-Tennessee border. Nine earthquakes, so that is a big deal. Let's see, where's the other volcanic... Oh, hold on, there's the volcanic news. Right there. Nope, that was that's the deadly heat wave. I thought that was the volcanic... Okay. Um, there's a deadly heat wave right now hitting Australia. That is still big time news. They're calling it the heat wave from hell. Residents flee after the Uluwan volcano erupt erupts in uh, Papua New Guinea. So I'll share more very soon. India's flooding chaos is happening right now. Um, They've declared a state of emergency back on September 29th after the storm brought over four feet of snow, blizzard conditions. Uh, this was, let's see, 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and then 4 p.m. That's a lot of snow. T over 12 feet of snow, that, that's, that's a lot of snow covering homes. And uh, that was a major storm that hit the area. I'll share more very soon. Uh, Hurricane Lorenzo is a Category 5, and uh, Hurricane Lorenzo is... Uh, Hurricane Lorenzo is very, very powerful right now. And they said it might even be the strongest earthquake ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean. Alright, so the New Madrid fault line, definitely, definitely very active right now. If you felt any earthquakes, let me know if you live in that area. Because it's very active. Stay safe, everyone. Stay as safe as you possibly can. Peace, much love. Signing out. My links are below if you'd like to show support, and you can. Peace. You can email us.